Hey, what's going on gamers? So I want to make a quick video, I promise there's no spoilers in this video, on a, an important tip before you beat the story on Legend difficulty and you pull the exotic that you get at the end. So if we look at the exotics for the characters, there's new exotics, okay? Uh, one of them for the Titan is this helmet here. If it'll load, it's this helmet here and then the other one is the chest piece. Okay, it's this guy here. So when you beat the story on hard mode, at the end, uh, the final mission will give you a choice between picking which one of these two that you want. And the impulse reaction is, oh, I'm gonna pick the item I want. But the problem with that is, is the ones that they give you have a stat total of like, I think 50, like 51, something like that. So they're very low stat totals. So my suggestion is, is whichever one you want, you should pick the other one. So for example, if I want the helmet for the Titan, when I complete the story, I'm gonna pick this chess piece, okay? So my chess piece is gonna be 50s, and now this is in the loot pool. Because what'll happen is, is now since this is in the loot pool, I have a random chance to get it again. You're gonna say, well, Frank, how come you're not gonna get the helmet if you want the helmet? Well, what I can do now is I could target farm this helmet by doing the lost sectors that give you the exotics after you complete them. Um, it's RNG based, you might have to do a couple of them. But because I don't have this helmet and this helmet, what will end up happening is, is when I go and I farm the lost sector, whichever lost sector it is for that day that has the drop for the helmet, these are the first two things that are gonna drop for me when I complete them. The way it goes, it's like a knockout system, like it'll give you what you don't have, and then once you have it, um, it'll go into the loot pool. So if I get this helmet, then I can get any of these helmets at any point in time. But if I keep doing that lost sector, eventually I'm gonna get this. And when you get it, it's gonna have a stat total that's not gonna be like 51. It's gonna be higher than that. Hopefully it's somewhere in the 60s, but it makes it real easy so that way you can go target farm this because this is the one that you want, have it have a good stat combo so that way you put it into a build. Instead of, like if I pick this helmet right at the end of the story, now this is in the loot pool. I would have to go and farm that lost sector and I would have to compete with this, getting this first, and then I would have to have any of these helmets drop. So the chances just go down and down. Same goes for Warlock, same goes for Hunter. So like you have this uh, Warlock helmet here and like the boots or whatever. If I wanted the boots, or I'm looking at the Hunter, sorry. If I wanted the, the boots or the arms, which I, I actually grabbed by mistake, then I'm not gonna pick the arms, if that makes sense. So hopefully this video was quick and informative. Uh, I hope I didn't spoil anything for anybody by saying there was an exotic at the end, but um, it is a reward that you get for completing it at the end of the Legendary Campaign. Hopefully this helped. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.